you doing? It's Brad Stinson, VA Home Loan Specialist. This video is going to be a tutorial on how you can pull your military records from the new VA.gov website. So stand by to get some. So here we are at the main VA.gov website. Now you have to sign in. <clears throat> there are many forms of sign in that you can choose. You're sign in with DS Login. DS Login is your e benefits account that you currently have right now. If you don't have it, that's okay because there's two other ways in which you can sign in with My Health Evet or ID.me. ID.me. ID.me is a fantastic site that I encourage everybody to sign up for because this also has Troop ID. What is Troop ID? Troop ID uh, can verify your veteran status online. So take underarmor.com. I shop there all the time. When I go to check out, I hit verify identity with Troop ID and I get 20% off. Boom, there you go. So there is a two-step factor to verify who you are. So I'm gonna send a text message to my phone and that is 518. Now I'm verified. To pull your records is actually very, very easy. There's four quadrants on this main page. Healthcare, disability, education, records. Records, all you have to do is go down to the last one, request your, your military records. So you click on this and you're going to go to the Mill Connect website. Now, you must have a DS login to do this. So you have to register a DS login in order to do it. If you do not, like I logged in with, with my ID me, I'll show you exactly what you have to do. Now, if you get lost throughout this tutorial, you can refer back to this page and it has all the steps right there down below. Okay, so I'm gonna click on go to Mill Connect and I have to sign in. So I have to sign in with my DS login, that really obnoxiously long one that none of us can remember. So I'm gonna log in. It's gonna jump me back to that main page. I'm gonna click okay to consent. So here, I'm at the main Mill Connect website. Now, keep in mind, this is the va.gov website, so you can go back and refer to these step-by-step -step instructions, or you can just follow along with me. So I'm gonna click on Correspondence and Documentation, DPRIS. Click on Personnel File, Request My Personnel File right here. Then you gotta confirm who you are, Give a valid email address that you're going to check because the, they're going to send notifications to these to that account to let you know if and when it's ready. So click your branch of service, and then I just select all. You never know what you want, so I just select all, select all. All right, create and send request. All right, now this takes only a few moments. So as of right now, I requested it at 16:55 and we'll see how long it takes. So there you have it. It's done, it's complete. It took all of five minutes to retrieve my entire military personnel file. Uh, so all you have to do is click on view files. And then here you have a list of all your individual papers or you can download it all into one file. All right, so I have quite a bit. Everybody usually has about 80 or more pages in their file. Somewhere in there is the document that we need in order to get your eligibility document. So download all files, send that packet over to me. We'll get you your eligibility doc. So there you have it. How to, how to tutorial on how to, how to pull your, your personnel file from va.gov website. My name is Brad Stinson. Have a great week. Get after it. Semper Fi.